So you're not working with like an illustration professor. You're working with so and so who has an illustration company in New York City. So that's just how SVA was built. So that you change, you grow, you rethink things. I think at the core I'm really into the existentialism, just like the nature of like my existence and like I'm trying to figure out the big questions like what is this about? Why am I here? Or what does this mean? That's working. I've been using imagery from the place and turning it into the artwork. Using like the architecture and using that to generate work. So like I photograph the work, the architecture, and then I um, take video of it and then I use the that imagery to compose photographs and also to compose paintings and drawings and video works and then kind of go back you know from the paintings I go back into video and I'm kind of like creating these almost like remixing the environment that I'm in. painting with three videos going underneath it and I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, what, what is your show? It's uh, called um, Extinction Evolution, and it's more of, it's not an exhibition, it's more of a project. <laughs> And 
you walk into the gallery here, and that's zone one. And in there, there's going to be um, the painting with the vi three video monitors, a painting here, the red and white painting, photo there, and another, and then the map is over here. Then this is going to be an arrow painted on the floor. And I'm going to get white reflective paint that they use for like the lines in the street. And then, so that's going to be like a floor painting. Then you're going to walk through this hallway, and that's going to be the whole grid of 800 photographs. And then that's a big 40-foot wall. And then as you go to the back room, that's the um, the sort of event horizon or the, like the end of the universe type of thing, the end of time I call it. And um, this is going to be a video projected down onto the floor, and it's a circle. The video is going to be a circle, and I wanted to kind of touch on the idea of like a black hole. <laughs> Cosmological. So, so like what? Create a, a model of the life cycle of the universe, like from the, from the birth of the universe to the, the death of the universe. Because it was, it was a big show. What uh, <laughs> what what did you expect of tonight? T today, before you were getting the show, what did you expect to happen to with the show? I wanted to make sure that it was like I wanted to make it as fine and perfect as I could. Usually artists, they prepare the piece in their studios and they bring the, they bring the piece to the gallery. And the thing what I like the show is because he prepared everything on site, he prepared everything here. You know. Well, I think that the show was successful and I think that you know the fact that I was making work out of the space, out of the space, within the space, and outside of the space was a challenge. Um, but it actually went together pretty cleanly. What happened was when I came here and saw the space, it like I, the idea for this show just came really quickly, and it was very clear. Um, I'm very pleased that Peter decided to use this space as a jumping off point for the project. Um, it came out great. You know, it's been a real honor to work with him and uh, to have him work here. The paintings is always a, a, a positive in the space, especially ones inspired in part by anyway the space itself. Uh, 